India in Fashion, the impact of Indian dress and textiles on the fashionable imagination. They have 10 zones. This is zone one, introduction. Starts with fascination and invention. Indian influence brings Alexander McQueen to new frontiers in 2010. Finding finery at court Indian silks and embroideries collide with Western tailoring in the 1830s. And this is an Italian twist. Christian Dior. Tarun Taliani. This is from 1956 and 19 and 2020. Tarun Taliani and Christian Dior reconsider the poetry of India. Next, India in America. Naeem Khan dresses a first lady at the White House in 2009. Many of you will remember this dress. And Naeem Khan made this, it's courtesy of Naeem Khan, and this is, the original was worn by Mrs. Obama at the White House. It was the state dinner for Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. And Naeem Khan was here at the opening as well. I'm gonna go a little faster because there's such a big show. It's such a big show. An India of the imagination from fantasy to film. And here is one of the most famous movies in Indian history. DDLJ Dilwale Dulhaniya Le Jayenge. Manish Malhotra, who was all over the opening of the Nita Mukesh Ambani Cultural Center. And this is KK, K3G. Kabi Kushi Kabi Gum. And Manish Malhotra dress from by Priyanka Chopra Jonas in Dostana. And you'll see some of the outfits here. Gathered in the Mughal garden, floral chintz makes an impression of the fashionable West, on the fashionable West. It's a Rahul Mishra. Wenki. So it was imported from coastal Southeast India, 1750. Wow, this is really, really old, 1740. And it's on loan from the Royal Ontario, Ontario Museum in Ontario, Canada. And this section is called India's Allure Meets the Paris Couture. The influence of India and the work of Chanel, Christian Dior, and Issey Laurent. Raw mango, sari. And then this entire gallery is Chanel. Various items here. Gabrielle Chanel. More Chanel. 2016. 2001, 
and you go off here. There are 10 zones. Not sure which zone this is. This is Christian Dior. Issey Laurent. John Galliano for Christian Dior. So much to see here, folks. Everything you see here is YSL. size of this pink is the navy blue of india diana vreeland said this in 1956 and the, fir the first item there is evening dress jean philippe worth for house of worth 1903 worn by lady curzon the vicereen of india Married, of course, to the Viceroy of India, Lord Curzon. And this is 1963. Trying to absorb this all is very, very tough. It says, Valentino, a marriage of East and West. We're in zone six of 10 zones. What you're looking at here is by Valentino and is a handmade couture wedding langa skirt, blouse and long scarf. And courtesy of the personal collection of Ms. Of Ms. Isha Ambani, who wore the, uh, this couture piece during her wedding in 2018. And here is Tarun Taliani. And this is 2019 work. The journey of the sari, an icon of attire, takes its place in the history of Western fashion. Zone 7. So it's all about the sari. Tarun Telyani in 2019. Look at how it's all put together. Anamika Khanna, 2021. Zandra Rhodes, Museum of the City of New York. Christian Dior, 1963. In Bakker, 1950. This is lent from the collection of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. This is a Givenchy. I'm sure I'm pronouncing many of these names wrong. And look at this. Carolyn Schnuner, lent from the museum, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. It is a bathing suit, a sari bathing suit. And this is a sundress, also lent from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. This is Ritu Kumar, Life in Paisley. Beautiful. Hello. Good. I'm recording, so uh, no, no, no. But you, you, you can tell us how does it feel to see 
what you were working with in the book to come life, yeah, come to it's life. It's extraordinary because you don't you don't really get a sense of the of the the fluidity of the fabric and the textiles and the, the textures of the textiles. So yeah, it's it's a dream. I've been through this thing like four or five times already. I'll come back again. Yeah. And Philip is the editor of the Rizzoli books. A catalog of the, or it's more than just a catalog of the. Uh, of this, thing, yeah. But it's it's a port. This absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's congratulations oh on my it. Gosh. And it's, uh, you must be very happy. Yeah. Very much so. And we've made plans to meet in New York. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> neighbors. Sorry. Yes, practically neighbors. That's right. Philip, I can't ask you what is. Maybe it's like asking what's your favorite child, but. What are some of the pieces you especially like? Several of the, the, these things were not in the book, so oh, okay. like this piece was not in the book, this piece was not in the book, so it's like seeing things from there. But of the ones you've seen and what were in the book or are in the book? I think, I think the, the, the brothers, the Lucknow brothers mm -hmm. um, from the Royal, uh, Royal Ontario Museum. Yes. So in the beginning, they're just you know, yeah, really these 18th nice. century garments, which... And they preserve so well. So I, I'm going to ask you to be a little immodest. Tell us why we sh everyone should buy this book for themselves and a friend. Because, I mean, I mean really, the, the, it says it all in, in, the, in the name. The, the, the inspiration of Indian textiles and silhouettes on Western fashion is undeniable. And it goes back and talk, we go back and we talk about, you know, the ambassador coming to the court of Louis the, Louis the 16th. And, you know, it, it's for her be a trend for women wearing turbans and you know all the textiles and, and the story reinterpreted by designers for the last few hundred years it's amazing all, it's all here it's all, all right here. well we look forward to seeing it in the book yeah. thanks we're looking here at a raw mango by Aftab 2014 zone 8 is the great exhibition London 1851 the power of India in an age of influence. And I was really looking forward to showing you folks all of these pieces. Here's one. Babani from 1912. This is from 1923. Look at this, folks. B. Altman and Company from the Museum of the City of New York. And it's from 1880. Here's a piece by Anamika Kanna, which is much more recent, March 2023. And this is a day dress. Christian Lacroix, 1988. He's going to walk and let you enjoy these. This is on view in Mumbai, if you can get here, through June. The 1903, uh, this is also worn by Lady Curzon, the Viceroy of India. <laughs> India in fashion. And here we have a dinner dress from 1870s. Anita Dongre, more recent, Ritu Kumar more recent. And here they have individual pieces and some history you can see. Look at all these amazing pieces of work. This is Christian Laboutin. And he was here. Christian was here himself. He was wearing one of these shoes with their famous red soles. John Philippe Worth, look at this. If you can't make it to Mumbai, this is your best tour you're gonna get. These are shoes from the 1830s, and a turban from the 1830s. Just amazing. It's from the scrapbook they were put together. These are shoes made by Sabya Sachi and Christian Labaton. Sneakers. Here are those famous red sole shoes by Christian Labouton. Labouton. I'm sorry my pronunciation. Look at this beautiful 
until you get the sense. I just want you to see the size and scale of this place. Hard to fathom. <clears throat> Zone 9 out of 10. We're going in now. It's called the Hippie Trail. Fashion takes a trip. Let's see what kind of trip it takes. Woody Gingrich. Nineteen eighty, eight nineteen seventies. So they're taking older and newer designs together, put them together. Thea Porter from nineteen seventy. Look at this. Zandra Rhodes. Zandra Rhodes. Jean Paul Gaultier. We're still in zone nine. Wow, look at these pieces, folks. Manish Arora, Kaftan. Look at these pieces. This is John Galan Valiano. Manish Arora. This is number 10, Traditions and Innovations, the Impact of Indian Fashion Now. Whoa. This is Manish Malhotra. Look at the skirt and jacket. The flying folks. These are amazing pieces it's by Sabia Sachi. I'm gonna step back so you can absorb it all. And look at this right here. A few seconds of silence. And now we go again. These might be the last few pieces. The Sandeep Kosla. Abu Jani Sandeep Khosla and then Abu Jani Sandeep Khosla. These will be the final pieces we're seeing. Anuradha Lakhi. Beautiful. Anuradha Lakhi. That's beautiful. I presume this is the last thing we're seeing in the show. There's the Rahul Mishra. All three Rahul Mishras. Look at that. Uh, spectacular. And we're done. This is where the book is for sale. It's called India in Fashion, the Impact of Indian Dress and Textiles on the Fashionable Imagination. And it's edited by Hamish Bowles. And we'll just show you the chapters at the beginning here. The forward by Nita Ambani. And the authors include Ritu Kumar, Sonia Ashmore, Sarah Fee, Rujuta Vaidya. Priya Khanna, Susie Menkes, Himesh Bowles, a very, very impressive list. And this is the forward, the introduction here. It's absolutely terrific. Well, thank you all for joining me in this tour and this walkthrough. I learned a lot. I'm sure some of you did as well. 
It's a Kashmir shawl from the 1870s. Kashmir shawl, the Sikh period, 1835. you till the end here. That's it folks, 20 minutes to do a really fast walkthrough. Thanks, say goodbye. Thanks everybody, thanks for joining us. Truly appreciate it, bye.